Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day. Have you ever been, have you ever been so aggravated, frustrated and ticked off at somebody that you throw up your hand and just walk away from them? I know I have, especially when I know that I am right and they're not listening. When I was younger, I used to get so aggravated by my brother when I was right and he was wrong. Sometimes that turned into a fist fight in the backyard, but most of the time I turned around and walked the other way. Jesus had a moment like that too. In Mark 8, Jesus had just fed 4,000 people with seven loaves of bread and a few fish. 4,000 people ate until their bellies were filled. Then Jesus got into a boat and he crossed over to the other side of the lake. And as soon as he landed, the Pharisees and religious leaders arrived to argue with him and demanded that Jesus work another miracle to prove his authority. Let's read and see how Jesus responded in Mark chapter 8, verses 11 through 13. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had arrived, they came and started to argue with him, testing him. They demanded that he show them a miraculous sign from heaven to prove his authority. When he heard this, he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, Why do these people keep demanding a miraculous sign? I tell you the truth. I will not give this generation any such sign. So he got back into the boat and left them and he crossed to the other side of the lake. See, Jesus was the one who was right in this scenario. He had been working miracle after miracle. He had already given enough signs and wonders for everybody to recognize that he had power and authority. And the moment he arrived, these pesky religious leaders showed up to argue and demand Jesus do something else to prove he was from God. Is there somebody in your life that always challenges you to prove that you're right? Do they think they know it all and you're always wrong? Do they frustrate you to the point you want to punch them in the nose? In this passage, Jesus demonstrates that it is okay to walk away from a fight. It's okay to not defend yourself and try to prove to others that you are right and they are wrong. Jesus simply got back into the boat, crossed back to the other side of the lake. Why? Because sometimes it's better to walk away than to prove yourself to others. So the next time you find yourself in a tense moment or you realize the conversation you're about to have is going to get heated, just politely walk away. Deal with the situation later. It's okay to do that. Jesus was humble enough to not prove he was right, and you can follow in his steps too. If today's word for the day has blessed you, apply it, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.